three, two, one. Keep going, why not? <laughs>
Good old drop jump. <laughs> Rude to nowhere. Probably should have been more careful there. Keep going. It's a pretty bad death. Though.
Thank you. It definitely feels very good to uh, to pull off. Yeah. I don't know why I've sort of been struggling with it recently. Because <laughs> when I first learned it, um, I never really had that much of a problem with it. And then for whatever reason, I just started having trouble recently. But I guess I fixed whatever I was doing wrong. Yeah, the entry is like, it's the part people say is easy, <laughs> but I don't really know about that. It seems like kind of random, you know, and I definitely don't get it every time, first time. Yeah, it definitely is like a trial and error, kind of, just kind of got to feel it out, you know? It's hard to like teach it, I guess, because you can't tell someone like, oh, just do this, do this, do this. You can kind of give like a general explanation of like what to do, but ultimately, you kind of got to figure it out for yourself. Yeah. I think what I started doing recently is spin once at the top of the first jump and then um, like jumping again and then mashing at the top of like the second jump. Yeah, it definitely depends on how good you mash. I think I tend to be like a slow masher, so. depending on the day as well. It's a nice time save there. <laughs> Cause I didn't get Cortex power in my PB, so that's where that is.
Yeah, I'm surprised I got that time with... Uh, I think what happened is I went for the skip, failed it, and then just did Cortex Power 2. Which means I would have saved time just not going for it and just doing Cortex Power 1 and 2. So it's, yeah, kind of crazy that I got that time. Drop jump. That's why I'm so careful in these levels. Because I know that your jump can just get dropped at any time. I've heard that word before, <laughs> but I think I know what you mean. I'm always scared to go for that cycle right there, even though I know I can make it. This one is harder. Definitely wait on these stairs, yeah. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but... When I do any percent, I'll go for those stairs, but in Hundo... First four stairs without waiting to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Four with the oh the full with the pull board at the bottom. The more you play, the more cycles you just recognize. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I'm not super focused on cycles, just because I feel like it's just gonna come with time, I guess. And it's probably not worth focusing on until you get like really good. Until I get really good. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. And I, I'm generally noticing that, uh, I don't know, the more sort of conservatively I play, the more like 
less risky I play generally works out better for where I'm at right now at least. Like it's not worth like overextending, you know, to maybe s skip a cycle if you're gonna die, you know, if there's a risk of that, so. I mean, yeah, a lot of this game is just figuring out how not to die. Because it wastes so much time. That was dumb. Should have tried to time a sub jump or something. It's kind of a bad death too. Oh well. Just as I was talking about not being risky. I've never really gone for that either. Doing a sub jump off the side there. Oh well. Sometimes being risky pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and I knew that too. <laughs> I know that spinning on those platforms. The thing is, sometimes you can sub jump off them and it's relatively safe in my experience. But it's probably still risky. Same with these platforms here. Jaws. Yeah. It's weird because I there's a place in fumbling where I um, relatively frequently do the sub jump off of those platforms. And I'm used to doing it there, but I think I'm not used to doing it in that specific place and lights out, so for some reason my brain didn't like register it. <laughs> but now I know. I mean, usually feel is sort of how I do sub jumps in general. I don't really use, a, I guess, like a visual cue. I mostly just feel out the timing. Do I do the sub jump here? Do I play it safe? I've only recently kind of started doing that bonus round fast. It's not actually that bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's fine, but <laughs> I don't know. You don't want it to go wrong. Also, the first time... I think what it is is the first time I ever did that bonus round fast. 
I got the glitch where the key like went into the ground and I think that just like traumatized me <laughs> to make me not want to do it fast ever again. But then I did it slow for a while. But, you know, it's not like doing it slow like loses that much time. Yeah. All good. <clears throat> The box bridge, um, now I do it slow. I made the cycle anyway. <laughs> Probably not the optim the most optimal cycle, but at least I made it. But yeah, the box bridge, I've tried doing it the fast way and I just, I just can't. It's not worth it in my opinion. It's one of those things that it'll come eventually, I feel. Even that damage abuse stuff at the end is sort of risky, but it's not too hard. Okay. Not as much time loss as <laughs> I thought, so that's nice. Of all the places to die in the run, I think Lights Out 1 is not the worst. Although the run is far from over. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Whole hog is fun. 
I mean, sometimes I consider just doing whole hog, like, right after sunset, you know? Just to make it earlier. I don't know that it really matters. Maybe for cycles or something, but I don't know. But, um... Definitely a scary level to have at the end of the run, as is this level. Map movement, yeah. But I feel like that's not that much in the grand scheme of things. It's not ain't no way, what is that? Okay. Cycle's probably okay, yeah. <clears throat> it's fair. wait on this because <laughs> I have lost time there due to death I'm missing that sub jump <sighs> now it's time for whole hog <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. That's kind of what I feel is like, before you get to that level, it's better to focus on like, the big time saves. Yeah, I, I feel like I pra practice this level so much, and it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it does kind of matter, I think. I feel like there's a lot that's preventable, but... Yeah. The hog, honestly, gives me much more trouble than the box. I feel like the box I've gotten pretty consistent, but the hog is kind of... 
prey. That's nice to have out of the way. Setups for both glitchy boxes and the jump. Is it boxes or just the one? I didn't know there's more than one. Yeah, I feel like I kind of just go by feel, which is not super reliable, I guess, but I guess it works for me. For the first box, there's two, okay. Well, at least for the first one. Yeah, I try to stay to the right of it. It generally works out stream. Okay, yeah, I haven't even heard about the second one. I know there's a second hog that can give people trouble. And I have died to it once. The one where you go under it and sometimes you just die. I've died to it like once, but it's been a while. I don't think it was in a run or anything. Okay. What is the setup? Do you stay... I feel like when I died to it, I think I was to the right. Hold right under it? That's kind of weird. That, Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was holding right when I... Like, the one time I died to it, but I guess I could be wrong. But... Guaranteed survival. Okay. Good to know. I need to stop waiting here. <laughs> I need to just go for it. I know I can go for it. I'm just scared for some reason sometimes, but I feel like I'm scared of uh, the game dropping my jump on that platform, which is very valid, I feel. As long as you break the last box and hold right straight away, you're good. Okay. Moving toward the wall rather than hugging it underneath it. Okay. Free time save, sure, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. I took that super safe because I was terrified. <laughs> because it's a terrifying level. on NF2? I don't know what the password strat is. Two and then quit to the main. What the heck? Oh, that's interesting. So I guess like saves the map movement, saves time for map movement. Going to the Great Hall. It's really interesting. <clears throat> but why do you end on NF2 then? I guess it's the farthest away of the backtracking levels. If you're doing upstream, skip. I need to focus, I think. <laughs> Not trying to drop this.
One more level left. <laughs> Will I jump? <laughs> I think. Maybe I'm just nervous. And time. Wow. 112. <laughs> Honestly, was not really expecting that. Looked okay. GG. Thanks. Well, I got the sub 113.33, that's for sure. Um, I had to be vain for a moment and see how much that moves me up. I think probably just one or two places on the leaderboard. Two? Wait, did I tie? Did I tie with somebody? Did I tie whip 112.53? So that actually might come down to... Yeah, 14th. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if they distinguish between like a, uh, I guess like decimal time, probably not, just whatever, whatever the seconds is. So I'm ha very happy with that, obviously. <laughs> 14. That's kind of crazy. They don't, yeah, makes sense. It's probably just for like really short runs like Mario or something, Mario 1, but dang, I mean I got like 30 seconds to save in uh, Lights Out 1 <laughs> of all places, and what else happened? Well I guess I had like 40 seconds through Kong, just PB again, yeah, not right now, but yeah eventually. <laughs> dang. <sighs> I also have to keep getting Cortex power and Rolling Stones and all of that good stuff. <sighs> good general improvements you'll make just by playing, yeah, as well as just mistakes being cut. Yeah, that's why I try to not really worry about it so much, because you know, there's good days and there's bad days. Yeah. It's it's a fun game to run. Very frustrating at times, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, it's a game that means a lot to me. You know, been playing it since I was a kid and stuff, on and off, but... So it's cool to, like, run it. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> At some point, I probably will switch to the Japanese version. I don't know when, but yeah. Um, I guess just whenever I can, whenever I can afford it. First childhood game, me too, I think. I think it was either this or Mario, but I want to say it was this. Yeah, I think I'll probably switch to J whenever I, I guess, get the money for it for a PS, you know, a JPS2 and for the J copy of the game. Um, the free minute time save is nice, as well as... I mean, honestly, like, getting a mask at the beginning of the lab <laughs> is a big reason why I would want to uh, switch, because that level's terrifying, and, uh, and Jaws as well. Yeah. I don't know when. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I, I feel like... I also know I'm gonna have to like relearn some stuff. Even just like the mask hints, right? It's it's it seems small, but relearning those kind of habits that like every time you get a mask you have to press X or circle or whatever. You can soft mod PS2. Good to know. Everything for J but wanna get a 107 on you first. More power to you. I hope you get that 107. <laughs> Ask Hinton death abusing for ruin levels. 
Oh yeah, because of the cycles, desynced cycles. And s well, I don't think people death abuse for slippery climb, but I know there's desynced cycles there. Eventually carry cycles. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, definitely doing, only having to do Road to Nowhere once is huge. <laughs> Just because I don't want to do it twice, you know. And it saves time. It's a nice, uh, Ted doesn't, Luca abuses for Slippery. Yeah, the thing is, for Slippery, you can't just, there's like an invisible wall at the start, so you can't just press down, you have to actually like go to the left. But it may just be worth it, depending on what you're going for. Good revisit to cut, for sure. Yeah. I think I'll probably end things off here, I don't... I don't really want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't think that would be productive, so yeah. I'm happy with how this went. <clears throat> yeah, consistency is good. Alright, I don't really have anybody to raid right now, so I think I will probably just end stream. Good PB, thank you. Thank you for uh, being here, for chatting. It's been nice. I learned a lot of things also, so thank you. Uh, until next time. <laughs>